If you're thinking about moving to Broward County, these are the top three cities you just might want to check out. Hi, I'm Yasmin Holbrook, a local realtor, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through three of the best suburbs in Fort Lauderdale. Every day, people relocate here and ask us which is the best neighborhood to live in. So here are a few suggestions. The first suburb you need to check out is Coral Springs. Coral Springs is located in the northwest part of Broward County and neighbored by Margate, Tamarack, and Parkland. Coral Springs is about 25 minutes to downtown Fort Lauderdale, 30 minutes to the Fort Lauderdale airport, and about 45 minutes to Miami. Coral Springs is near the Turnpike, I-75, and the Sawgrass Expressway. Coral Springs is a suburb of Fort Lauderdale with a population of 133,000. Coral Springs is in Broward County and is one of the best places to live in Florida. Living in Coral Springs offers residents an urban suburban mixed feel and most residents are homeowners. In the Coral Springs area, there are restaurants, coffee shops, and parks. Many of the families are young and young professionals. The public schools in Coral Springs also rank quite high above average. You want to know some fun facts about Coral Springs? Well, here they are. According to niche.com, Coral Springs ranks number four for the most diverse suburbs in Florida. Sunrise got the first spot. Coral Springs also ranks number 58 for the best suburbs for young professionals in Florida. Miami Beach slid in there for number one. Coral Springs is also a high public school rating, according to niche.com. Now, let's get into some real estate. The average single family home in Coral Springs is roughly $630,000. A four bedroom, two bath in Coral Springs is about $650,000. A three bedroom, two bath in Coral Springs is about $510,000. The average price for a townhouse or a condo in Coral Springs is about $184,000. Now, if you're looking to rent in the area, you can plan to spend about $3,100 for a three bedroom single family home. A two bedroom in Coral Spring will run you about $2,000. The second city you need to check out is my very own city, Plantation. Plantation is centrally located in Broward County. Plantation is close to I-95, 595, the Turnpike, and 75. Plantation is bordered by Sunrise, Lauder Hill, and Davie. Plantation has so much to offer, such as parks, golf courses, shopping centers, and various restaurants. You will definitely need a car in Plantation. Plantation is about 15 minutes to downtown Fort Lauderdale and the beach. 15 minutes to the Fort Lauderdale Airport, and 35 to 40 minutes to Miami. Plantation is a suburb of Fort Lauderdale with a population of 93,000, and that is a fast-growing number. Now for the fun facts. According to niche.com, Plantation ranks number eight for the most diverse suburbs in Florida. Plantation kind of falls flat with the public school ranking, but don't be discouraged because there are lots of other great schools and options around Plantation. Plantation ranks 13th for the best places to raise a family in Broward County. Weston slides into the first place. Plantation also has 42 beautiful parks that you can visit and enjoy. The median cost for a single family home in Plantation is $625,000. The median cost for a townhouse or a condo is $252,000. The average four bedroom single family home and plantation is about $650,000. A three bedroom in plantation is about $550,000. Now, if you're looking to rent in the area, you can look at spending about $2,700 for a three bedroom single family home or $2,000 for a two bedroom in roughly the same area. The third suburb you need to check out is of course, I can't keep this one off my list, Pembroke Pines. 
Pembroke Pines is located in southwest Broward County and is close to the Turnpike and I-75. Pembroke Pines is about 24 minutes from the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, 30 minutes to Fort Lauderdale Beach or Hollywood Beach, and 30 minutes from Miami. All my subscribers know that I do a lot of coverage on Pembroke Pines, and there's a reason why. Pembroke Pines is a big city with a small community feel. And according to Niche.com, Pembroke Pines ranks number seven out of 380 for most diverse suburbs in Florida, and number 18 for the most diverse places to live in Florida. Pembroke Pines schools are also very good and above average. The average four bedroom single family home in Pembroke Pines is roughly $620,000. Three bedroom single family home is about $500,000, depending on the location. Now, if you're looking to rent in an area, you can plan on spending about $3,300 for a three bedroom single family home and roughly about $2,500 for a two bedroom single family home. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the top suburbs to move to in Fort Lauderdale. Broward County has many options when looking for a place to live. And don't forget to subscribe above. And for more information on everything Broward County, check out some of our other videos or visit my website at www.holbrookhomesrealty.com. I'm Yasmin Holbrook with Holbrook Homes Realty where we set the standard and stand for possibility. Thanks for watching.